Yo, what's up guys here? GTA Popster here and welcome back to another brand new GTA video. In today's video, we're actually going to be going over Take-Two Interactive's earnings call that happened just a couple days ago and what Strauss Zelnick, the CEO or a big boss of Rockstar Games, had to say about everything that's going on in the GTA world and what honestly might be coming in 2021. So let's get right into today's video. So yes guys, if you don't know what the earnings call is, again, Take-Two Interactive, they are like the big boss of Rockstar Games. They do this earnings call where they go over, you know, all their financial earnings and they do it for these physical period times. So this is the period ending in December 31st, 2020, so actually back in last year, so they're like saying all their investments, what happened, and basically people can call in on, uh, ask questions to the CEO of, of Take-Two Interactive, Strauss Zelnick, so sometimes these people will ask Strauss in that some questions about GTA, so again, those are interesting to look at and see what they have to say. Now, not all the time are they going to you know, say something uh, about, about, like, GTA. Again, they don't have to. You know, this is mainly about their earnings and whatever uh, to go. But again, I will leave, actually, the transcript of this earnings call down in the description down below because, again, the phone call version of it is sort of confusing. So, again, you can look at this transcript for yourself. Now, moving on, what they have to say related to about GTA, Strauss Zelnick said in the meeting, they said, in the history of entertainment industry, there's perhaps no experience that's more loved, more expansive, more critically acclaimed, and more successful than Rockstar Games. Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 5 remains one of the most ironic titles ever released and continues to exceed our expan expectations, holding sold over one 140 million units. In fact, in calendar 2020, more copies of Grand Theft Auto 5 were sold than any other year except for 2013. When it is first launched on PlayStation 3, Xbox Series X, in addition, recurrent consumer, spending on Grand Theft Auto Online overperformed our third quarter forecast and grew 28% year over year. So, wow, that is some great statistics that we have about GTA here. Again, Strauss goes on to say basically how the Grand Theft Auto franchise over these years, you know, back in 2013 when GTA 5 came out, it's been growing every physical year. And that is pretty good for Take-Two Interactive and Rockstar Games for reporting that. Again, that is some good news. And again, we had GTA 4 that exists back in the day. But again, GTA 5, and that is the only GTA game that's been doing very well since launch. And you know, they all already said that this has been the most ironic title ever released, GTA 5. So I just want to, if you play GTA 5 right now, I'm guessing you are because you're watching this video, to give a hand across your back or on your shoulder that, hey, we did it, we made GTA 5 go down in history basically and they also sold 140 million units do you know how much 140 units is yes that is a lot of units of games being released in the calendar of 2020 and that's like the physical year uh, and that was the most sold by far since the release date of GTA 5 you know when GTA 5 started, it's ironic that it was only on the PlayStation 3, Xbox Series uh, 360. So again, those are some old consoles. Again, we already went by X, uh, PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and now we're here at the new generation consoles, the Xbox Series X, the PlayStation 5, and we don't really have statistics for that right now. But again, that's just amazing how this overcome. Again, Strauss Zelnick and the team are probably going over why they had a successful 2020 because when they did this call, it was back in the 2020 year. Now we're in 2021, so again, we should hear some more information about that when they had their next call. Now, moving on to some other news, they also go on to say about how the Caprico heist 
was their biggest update in 2020. Of course it was. You know, they had a lot of players playing because of that. And also, they said G2 Online grew 28% over a year. So that is pretty amazing as well. It looks like more people are playing G2 Online because, again, they are loving the update. But lastly, they said, in addition, overall engagement with Grand Theft Auto 9 continues to set new benchmarks as a title, had more players in every month for the entire League of Calendar 2020 than in any other year since its launch. 2020 also marked the Grand Theft Auto Online highest participation rate ever by both new player and reactivated players who returned and experienced Grand Theft Auto's array of new content offerings. Grand Theft Auto Online is expected to achieve a new net booking record in physical 2021. Red Dead Redemption 2 also overperformed and to date a sold in over 36 million units worldwide. So going back to that, again, it looks like Grand Theft Auto Online is reaching a new benchmark. Again, they're having every month, it looks like the player base keeps going up since the launch of since the launch in 2013, or I should say 2014, again, it's probably been a year since uh, from when GTA 5 released and they bring online, so that is pretty amazing as well. And they had the highest partition patient rate, so it looks like a lot of people are playing GTA Online probably because of Keo Perico and the updates that Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive have to offer as well. And this also includes the people that have, you know, either they're on an Xbox or uh, Xbox Series X or something along those lines and transferring their character. Again, that still counts in the new ratings. So, again, that is pretty amazing. Also, Red Dead Redemption 2, of course, they're going to mention that. They sold 36 million units worldwide. So, that is incredible if you are in Red Dead Redemption 2 fan. Now, Strauss and Take-Two Interactive team also went over some other stuff in this meeting that I'm actually going to be covering in some future videos for you guys. I just wanted to cover the basic stuff that they went when they started this meeting out because, again, they brought some good news to us about the ratings, what they have been doing this past 2020 year and how the player base been going and so much more so again guys i want to hear from you in the comment section down below are you happy that uh take two interactive is reporting these higher rates of gta do you think gta 5 is going to be another best game i know a lot of people are hurting because we haven't heard any information about a new gta yet so far so i want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below so again, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Pups channel for more videos like this. My name is Pup here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.